What is up everyone, Mr. Aviator here, bringing you another episode of The Sims 4 here on Aviator Games. And you guys, last time we left off, our little boy Marshall aged up to a child and now he's been attending school, trying to get his grades up from a C to a B, trying to become a better student. But you guys, in today's episode, we're about to hit the weekend, and by hitting the weekend, we're going to be spending a whole bunch of family quality time together. We're going to hit up the park and see if Marshall can meet some friends, maybe a girl that he could be take some interest in. Uh, even though he's kind of yeah, but maybe just you know like the innocent young childhood flirting or something like that <laughs> and uh, He's gonna try to get his physical and social skill up to four so he can get uh, a, a promotion, I guess, in school. But you guys, before we hop into this episode, make sure you slap that like button, Lemonheads, if you're enjoying the series. If we get 2,000 likes on this video, I'll have another episode of The Sims 4 for you guys tomorrow. Um, but also, I wanted to mention, I do have those limited edition t-shirts. They're still available. We have guys and girl styles, and they start at $15. There's 100 total available. We've already sold 25, so if you want to check those out, the link is down below. But let's get started, you guys. So right now, Marshall is at school. Today is Friday, uh, so it's his last day at school. I think I work today. Yes, I do. And does Cassandra work today? She does as well. She needs to earn a little bit more tips. So I think we're going to take Cassandra today. We're going to have her travel. Uh, maybe to the park. I think the park's probably one of the better places to go for tips. Because I don't think the gym... I don't think they'd appreciate it as much at the gym. So let's go to the park. Um, now, we're hoping that Cassandra can make her $100. It's... We're finding out it's kind of difficult. She's she's not that good. No one finds her talented enough to actually want to donate to her. So this is we're we're, we're stuck in a sticky situation. But at least we're back out of the debt hole. We were only at four hundred dollars last episode in our bank account. And we're back to like twenty five hundred because I worked yesterday, and now I work again today. So that should be helping us out quite a bit. But let's head over to this park here and uh, start playing the guitar for some Sims. It looks like no one's really here. There's a a few Sims in the chest area. So let's go here. We're in the chest area, chest area. Um, let's go play the guitar. Let's uh, let's jam. We're gonna jam on the guitar. Let's see if we can convince uh, Kendrick here to give us some tips. We're jamming, Kendrick. Tip us, Kendrick. Oh, sixteen dollars. Here we go. We need a couple more of those because she needs she needs a hundred dollars in tips. Uh, let's have her pluck some inspiration. Okay, come on, Kendrick. You know you want to tip again. You know you want to tip again, Kendrick. Come on, Kendrick. Oh, you guys all are horrible people. Uh, let's let's just jam again. Okay, you know my my lovely wife here is jam. Yay! Oh, eight dollars, Kendrick. You can do better than eight dollars. Look at you look like a fisherman or something. You can't afford more than eight dollars to this lovely, beautiful girl, Cassandra. No. Okay. Oh, yay! Eight 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 dollars. Who are you? What's your Tracy? Eight dollars is not acceptable. We need bigger tips. Uh, let's play a song for these people. We're gonna play a rock song, Spli Spline On. Come on, guys. Start tipping Cassandra a little more. She has to go to work in a couple hours. She wants to get a promotion. She's only got $54 in, in earnings. There's another eight. Okay, well, thanks, Grandma. I wanted a little more than that, but we'll accept it. Let's jam again. Okay, here's Tyson. Looks like Tyson's here. Uh, I don't know if this is the other Tyson or the Tyson we lived with. <laughs> That's the problem. We'll just say it's the Tyson we lived with. Maybe Tyson will come over here and tip her a little bit. Oh, it looks like we got another $8 from Tracy. She decided she was being cheap and decided to come back. We're going to jam again. It looks like we have more audience here now. Come on, Joe. Don't just play on your phone. Start tipping us. Come on. We really need to get our skill up because we are just not earning anything. Marshall is not the first C student at Landgrab Elementary, and I and he surely won't be the last. Wouldn't the weekend be a great time for him to bump his grades up? Yes, it would be, and that's what I want to do. Okay, jam again. She's feeling playful. There was something she could do. Uh, how close is she now? She isn't going to get there today, you guys. It's going to be close. On the weekend, though, on Saturday, we'll have her jam in the park as we're hanging out with Marshall. Come on, give her a little more money, Grandma, please. Rosa, come on. Give her... Ah, why? Okay, so Cassandra's got to go to work. And... Oh, is she going to tip? Is she going to tip? She's coming back. She's listening. Ah, come on, tip, ladies. Tip, both of you. Tip 25. If they each tip 16... Ah, oh, if they each tip 16, we would have been good. If they each would have tipped $16, we would have got promoted. It could have been 15 each, even. 
Oh, darn it. Okay, well, Cassandra, there's always next the next day she works, which might even be tomorrow, so we'll be able to go park during the day with Marshall, have a good time with him as he works on his social skill by introducing himself to other Sims and being like, hello, I'm Marshall. I'm a lovely little kid. I'm the son of Zack, and I'm great. And maybe he'll improve his social skill, and then he can play in the jungle gym and improve that skill. Uh, let's check in on Marshall, though. We're going to have... Yeah, I guess what we're going to have him play in the playground. Now, some of you guys said... We should add the emotional aura light in his bedroom for like fitness and i thought that was a pretty good idea um so what we're gonna do is i'm actually gonna put in the spare room over here and the spare room needs lights anyways so it's probably a good idea that we do that right now so let's go to lighting we're gonna go with um ceiling lights like a, a one ceiling light should be good or no not ceiling lights ceiling lights are kind of a distraction we'll go with floor lighting uh what's good this is too fancy let's grab this one and we're gonna change the color to red right that that's nice i like this and then we can get the emotional aura lamp in here okay so perfect and i don't know where else to put this one let's just set this here and i'm gonna delete that move this table and perfect okay so let's flip this all the way around and perfect there we go okay so this is where we're gonna put the emotional aura lamp uh, so let me see all these little miscellaneous lamps now where is we need like uh, energetic like an energetic lamp that's confident inspiring environmental focusing playful focusing oh so do they not have environment okay so they don't have an energetic one inspiring yeah I don't see an energizing one confident confident works though doesn't it I'm pretty sure it does. Let's let's try the confident aura, aura light. We're just gonna set it in there because I think confidence helps them work out better. Uh, enable the aura. Go in here. E exercise. Let's do some push-ups. So we're gonna see if this works for Marshall. No. Okay. So it's, we're gonna see if it makes him feel confident. And it looks like he's like, you know what? Doing push-ups sucks. <laughs> Come on, Marshall. I don't think he can actually use our gym yet. Uh, his skills going up slowly but surely. And confident isn't helping. I don't think it's helping. Let's go here. Let's push up. Yeah, I don't think it's helping him build his skill. Yeah, it's not. Uh, launch party. We're going to step it up. We gained a small performance increase. Okay, so we're going to get rid of this lamp. It doesn't help. They don't have an energizing lamp, I guess. That really sucks. It would have been nice to have one. Okay, so let's go back. Uh, I don't think he can work out on any of this stuff. Yeah, this stuff's too adult for him. When he's a teenager, he'll be able to. But right now, that's not going to help him. We really want to max up all these skills when we can, too, because I think it, it really is easier when they're a kid, almost, uh, to get these skills up. Come on, Marshall, play on toys and have fun! Get that skill up. When are we going to... Oh, well, we're going to be back from work pretty late, but we're going to have Marshall continue this. He should be able to get to a level 3 by tomorrow. Um, let's have him use the bathroom, maybe take a shower, give him a little bit of energy with a brisk shower. Um, and then eat, uh, let's have him eat some pancakes. We're gonna have him eat some gummy bear pancakes and then finish off the day by doing his homework. Cause that's one of the ways he can get those grades up. He needs two skills at a level four though. Social will be an easy one to get for him. Um, and then, you know, we're still working on his athletic because he is going to be a professional athlete one day or potentially an astronaut. Um, and that takes a lot of athletic skill because some of you guys were saying astronaut would be a good a good career path for him So we made twenty one hundred dollars together as a team today She still needs a little bit more tips to be getting a promotion which Entertainers I don't think they ever make a lot of money. I'm not sure. I'm kind of curious to see I've never seen a level 10 entertainer yet. So I'm kind of curious uh, Let's have her have a quick meal. Let's have her have maybe like a microwave dinner um, And let's see what I need. So I actually need a full meal. I'm in the yellow. I'm gonna eat some taco casserole and then I think I'm going to play some games. We haven't live streamed in a while. Oh, I wanted to mention this, you guys. A lot of you guys said, why don't I program some video games instead of writing books to make money? From what I've gathered in intelligence-wise so far is that making video games isn't as profitable as making books. I can crank out like four books before I can crank out one video game. And the video game's royalties never pay out that well. So I think making books is more lucrative in The Sims 4. Homework complete. Okay, so let's uh, let's just replace that. A hundred bucks, that's not too much. Um, have Marshall go over here since he ate and he did his homework. We're going to have him use the toilet and then go to sleep. That should be good. It is already midnight. He is up way too late. Go to sleep, Marshall. Go to sleep. 
Because we have to have an early day at the park tomorrow, so we're going to make sure Cassandra's in bed. Okay, so she's sleeping. Let's make sure I get to bed at a decent hour. We'll go to bed right now, too, so we can all hit up the park at the same time tomorrow and have a great day as a family. Uh, let's throw that in the garbage. Perfect. Okay, so we should probably wake up around 8, maybe 9 in the morning, shower up, eat some lunch, and then head out to the park. Um, Cassandra will be there for about 5 hours or so, and then she's going to have to head out to work. I don't know if I actually... Have, I do have to work today at 4, so I'm only going to be there a few hours, and then Marshall will be forced home. So we want to get some family activity as quickly as we can. We're going to take a brisk shower. Let's replace that. That looks disgusting. Um, what does Marshall need? Marshall's hungry, so he's going to eat some taco casserole. That's okay. He can eat. Once he's done eating, we're going to have him use the toilet. Um, and then probably take a shower and then we're gonna be we're gonna be heading out very soon because it's already nine in the morning I go to work in seven hours, so I don't wanna I don't want Marshall to be disappointed that we couldn't spend a lot of time together Let's have a microwavable dinner and Then we are gonna have to clean up all these dishes and we should get going at that point We have to get out of here. Why are you still sleeping Cassandra use this take a shower really quick go 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 you got it. You're not gonna be able to eat. You're gonna have to eat after work tonight, and it's gonna be a very long day for you. Very long. Okay. So I'm gonna finish up eating. I don't think Cassandra's gonna have any time to eat. The love calculator made ten dollars today. It only made seven yesterday. So wow, we're actually making more money on an older app. Okay. So let's see. So Cassandra is worn out. She's tired. She's uncomfortable. But you guys, we're gonna head out now. I don't know why my guy's so uncomfortable. Uh, cold in the middle. Oh, he didn't cook the meal good enough. Okay. Let's travel with our whole family. Let's look at our household. Both, both of our family members, and we're going to head off to the park. So this this should be a good day. And then when we go to work, um, I guess, you know, I guess we're going to work with Marshall on his social at the park. So he can meet more sims. And then when he, we, we go home to go to work, he can uh, work out on his little jungle gym and stuff. I wish there was other ways for him to gain fitness. Uh, because it's just kind of, it's difficult with a jungle gym. Like, I would like if he would just play in the jungle gym until he leveled up, you know, something like that. That would be really nice, but that's not how it works, so. It's kind of difficult the way we have to level him up as a kid. Uh, okay, so we're all here. Uh, I don't see the rest of my family. Let's see. Uh, oh, they're over there. <laughs> they got to go to the cool part. Okay, so let's be Marshall really quick. We're going to see if there's any other kids here. From what I see, there isn't. It's a Saturday, and there's no kids here. Okay, we're going to have him play Space Explorer and then play in the j jungle gym and, and do all that sorts of fun stuff. Then we're going to have um, Cassandra go over here and we're going to have her jam some guitar. So let her jam some guitar here. Can I tip her? <laughs> that, would be a, that would be like cheating. Okay, so it looks like I'm getting some workout as Marshall's getting his workout on. He's just waiting for other kids to come to the park and have a good time. Oh, wow, she is making tips, you guys. She is making tips. There's another kid. Who is this? Red. Red Blunt. He's here and he's looking to have a good time. And it looks like there's quite a few uh, people tipping her now. I think she's got... Oh, she got... Oh, she needs six dollars, guys. Six dollars. And there. She should have got it. Oh, wait. Why am I making eight dollars a time here? Or does it not count for me? That She just made another eight dollars. Am I tipping her eight dollars? Is that is that what's happening? Watch ten dollars. I just got a ten dollar tip. Funny introduction. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are going to. You can only do these when your when your kid's playing. Oh wait, what? Let's have him play Space Explorer, and then I think we can play with him. Get over there, Marshall. Play Space Monster. Oh wow. Okay. Okay, this is going to improve our relationship with our our son. <laughs> uh, fa quality family time. Look at that. That is, uh, this is creepy, but I like it. I love it a lot. I like it more than I should. Space monster. Robots in disguise. Space monster. Oh, God. Oh, man, we are a creepy space monster, guys. We are a creepy space monster. We're just waiting now. We're waiting to make our move. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I need to get this. Okay. Look at this. Duh. <laughs> oh, man. That is too funny. This is too hilarious. Family time. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, so he's killing the space monster. We're having a good time. 
Let's check in on Cassandra, who has got the 100. She needs to reach a level 3 charisma skill now. I was not aware of that. Uh, so let's have her introduce herself to Rose here. Introduce yourself to Rose, Cassandra. Where are you? There you are. Okay. So give yourself a funny introduction. Friendly introduction. Go, go, Cassandra, go. You gotta get your little your little skill up. Um, let's see. Uh, let's heartfelt compliment. Uh, joke about politicians. Um, goof around. Uh, enthuse about guitar solos. Brian her day. Um, talk about cooking. And there we go. So let's check in on Marshall. So Marshall, there's a couple other little kids here now. You should um give yourself a friendly introduction to both of them, and see if uh. He's just horsing around. <laughs> uh, friendship, you guys. Friendship at its finest. Uh, Dad, get away. You're cramping his style. Go here, Dad. Okay. <laughs> I'm bored. I'm bored from being space monster. But I did it for my son because I love him. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's talk about school. You know, school sucks. Talk about toys. Uh, ask for typing tips. No, let's discuss interests. Okay, let's ask for typing tips. If that helps his motor skill. Motor skill. So here we go. Uh, joke about chicken butt. Oh wow! These about candy. And then is there a is there a high five? Uh, play make believe. Talk about toys. Uh, talk about favorite animal. Let's uh let's let's um nah, nah, nah. complain about parents. No, his parents are great. He loves his parents. Let's goof around. Okay, so Cassandra's got work in an hour. It looks like I've already headed off to work. And Cassandra's gonna be heading off to work very soon. Oh god. Is he making a friend here? Is he he's now a level three social skill, guys? Okay, so let's play some make-believe. Okay, so they're acting like they're some type of Oh, let's give him a hug. Friendship, you guys. Friendship. Oh, oh. Are they gonna hug? Are they gonna give each other a friendly hug? Be friends, guys! Oh, they're just chatting. They're not gonna hug. He's like, that sounds not fun. Let's give him a heartfelt compliment and burn his day a little bit. And then let's, um... Let's see, let's... I, I wanna give him a little hug. A little friend hug. Friend hug! Here it is. And friend hug. Is this going to be a friend hug moment, guys? Oh, it is. Friendship. Friendship. Oh, he looks creepy. I love it. This is friendship, guys. This is friendship. This is what friendship's all about. <laughs> okay. So I think Cassandra's got to go to work. Uh, yeah, she's late. So go to work. Oh, she's heading off to work. Now, will Marshall have to leave? That's the true test. Okay, so she's off to work. Now it's only Marshall. Okay, so it's only Mar Marshall can still hang out. So let's let's introduce ourselves to this guy. Let's see what he's all about. Because Marshall's trying to get that social skill up. So he's trying to become friends with more Sims. Uh, ask for typing tips. Brain day. Um, a heartfelt compliment. Uh, talk about school. What else can we do? Enthuse about candy. And then maybe get to know, see if see what's all about, what this guy's all about, or something like that. Okay, so he's now a level four social. Perfect. Okay, it was really nice to meet you, friend. We're gonna now continue to play on the monkey bars, though. Oh wait, play together. There we go. Okay, so they're gonna monkey around together, and that's gonna get his. He only needs this one little bit of uh, motor skill, and he's gonna be good, because. Then, then we got four in each, and he should be able, be able to be a B student. Now, it is Saturday. We'll let him stay at the park kind of late tonight if he wants. Uh, the longer he wants to play, the better. That's that's fine. It helps look at his motor skill go way up, way up the charts. Who is this? Javon? 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 What are you doing here? Are you trying to kick my, my son off the monkey bars? He's just trying to have a good time. <laughs> He's almost got it, though, you guys. We're going to stay here until he gets it. It's so close. So close. He's just got to be home before his parents get home, before we get home tonight. Uh-oh, play. Keep playing. You know, I know you want to eat, but you got to just finish this up, man. You're so close. There you go. Okay, so go ahead. We're going to head home now. He was out after dark playing on the monkey bars tonight. But, you know, it's okay. It's We live in a really nice neighborhood, but it's almost 10 p.m., so he should be getting home. I just got home from work. 
So yeah, uh, Marshall definitely needs to be heading home. We can't have him being gone as long as I am at work. Holy crap. He's going to get a, a mouthful. No, I can't, I can't yell at him because he was just doing his job. His, he wants to get better in school, so can't blame him for that. Wanting to have good grades, having aspirations. <laughs> Okay, so now we're heading back home. I got done with work today, earning a good 2,000. She made another 270. She needs to get her uh, charisma skill up. So I know we had we had a book for charisma. I'm pretty sure. Uh, where is our bookshelf? Here it is. Um, let's read. Let's let's purchase a book. Um, now I want skill. Cause I don't think maybe we don't have one. Yeah, charisma for dummies. Give me that. Can be found in your inventory. Okay, so let's go here. We're going to have her read Charisma Volume 1 for dummies uh, as soon as she gets in the house. Um, what am I doing? Am I playing video games right now? Because that's what I need to be doing. Okay, perfect. Uh, now let's go to the bathroom. I'm going to take a brisk shower, and then I'm heading to sleep. Now let's check in on little Marshall here. It looks like he wants to talk with his mom as he, as he eats some taco casserole and his day off quite nicely. He had a really good day. He got a lot accomplished. I'm really proud of Marshall. He's blossoming already. Uh, we're going to have him use the toilet, take a shower, and then go to sleep. It's a good way to end the day. And he's going to bed pretty late. It's going to be another midnight night for him. And it looks like Cassandra is getting closer to getting that charisma skill up, but she really has to go to the bathroom. So we're going to... Oh, she's really hungry, actually, too. So she's going to eat some of the leftovers she found on the table. <laughs> and then we're going to have to have her use the toilet, take a shower... And then go to sleep. Everyone got to sleep pretty late, but tomorrow is Sunday. But you guys, I think this is a great place to end the episode. If you enjoyed, remember to slap that like button, lemon heads. And if you watched the whole episode, comment um friendship. Because Marshall's become friends with a couple other little little children sims, and it's really cute. But until next time, you guys, remember to take it easy. Live it squeezy. <laughs>